Hi there Aries, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 22nd of June. A frenetic energy has been pulsating around the heavens this month, giving you a fantastic opportunity to express yourself. There may have been elements of impatience, but your mind has certainly been revved up. The accent changes as this week begins, with the sun having relocated into the sign of Cancer. He's going to be joined on Thursday by Mars, and of course the two have been pretty well side by side for much of the month. But the accent really is going to be much more on your emotions, your environment, where you live, how you live there, and who with. This is a critical phase if you do want to make some physical changes in that realm. So if you're wanting to improve somewhere, carry out some do-it-yourself, uh, move home altogether, this can be a very, very busy time. But there's a quarter moon on Wednesday, which suggests you shouldn't be too impatient when it comes to making any changes. It is going to be important to remain diplomatic and listen up to the viewpoints of others. This week also sees Mercury squaring up with Neptune. And if this rings a bell, it's because it happened at the end of May and, of course, at the start of June and now again. This can be a very confusing influence, it's true to say. But by the end of this week, Mercury does reach the place where it first began its retrograde in the middle of May. So I do feel if there have been any tangles, hopefully they will unravel by then for you. But there's a fantastic alliance in the last part of this week between Venus and Jupiter in the sunniest part of your horoscope. And if you're hoping for some good news on the romantic or social fronts, it's entirely possible, but could come about in a very unexpected way. A chance conversation, or perhaps someone can just seem to turn up in your orbit in a way which is almost fated. But because the accent has moved into a more emotional environment in terms of the Sun and Mars, how you receive any new information is going to be different than to earlier this month. You're going to be more attuned to how things feel and how secure you might feel. So in a romantic context, however playful or attractive you feel or someone is being towards you, do check out how it feels at that gut instinctive level. If you do this, it will help to guide you. The other thing that could happen with this combination between Venus and Jupiter, Mercury and also Uranus, is it could be you who decides to fling open your doors and play host to some kind of gathering, whether it's your family or closest friends, and you want to make sure it's an absolutely brilliant time for everyone there. But I do feel that anything you've been putting off in terms of your home environment can really come to the centre of your focus from here on. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye for now.